Hey everyone, David from Sunday Sounds here. Today I want to teach you a simple way to add a shimmer effect to any pad sound in Main Stage 3. Over the last several years, this shimmer effect has become really popular in a lot of modern worship music, and it's a really easy effect to get in Main Stage that adds some top end sparkle and brightness to any synth pad sound. So let's get right to it. I've got a, a basic synth pad sound right here. It's pretty mellow, and then as I move the mod wheel up, sound gets a little bit brighter. And there's just two basic ingredients that you need to have in main stage in order to add this shimmer effect. The first is some sort of pitch shifting. And there's a couple plugins within main stage three that are included that you can use to shift the pitch of your synth sound up. So we're gonna click in main stage here in the audio effects area. And there's two plugins that you can use. The first is found in this pitch folder and it's called pitch shifter. Uh, but I actually prefer this other pitch shifting plugin that's down here in audio units. So you're going to go to audio units, select Apple, and then scroll down and click on AU pitch. And this is a pitch shifting plugin. And the first thing you want to do is click on the pitch area down here at the bottom and type in 1200. So 1200 cents is a full octave up from our original sound. So if we play something here, you can hear that pitch has been shifted up. If I turn the plugin off, this is where we are, and then with it on. Now we don't want everything to be up there because this is just a shimmery effect. It's sort of happening above our sound. So the next thing we're gonna do is bring this effect blend down. And you don't want a lot of this, somewhere between like 20 and 40%, just depending on how prominent you want the effect to be. I'm gonna go with 35% for now, just so that you can really hear what's going on. And then here within this plugin, I like to bring the smoothness all the way up because we want this to be a nice subtle effect and then the tightness all the way down. So that it's just sort of this washy high texture. So right there with just the pitch plugin applied, this is what it sounds like. You can hear that high octave sort of sitting on top of everything, but it's not the core of the sound. Just for contrast, if I turn the plugin off, this is the original sound. And I'll turn it back on. And we've got that nice high octave sort of on top. And if I can bring this blend up a little bit, that effect just becomes more pronounced. And you just have to gauge how prominent you want that effect to be. That's probably gonna vary sound to sound or song to song. Bring this down just a little bit again. So this is actually a pretty cool effect right here on its own. And if you just wanted to add some high end to your sound, then you could stop here. But to really nail this iconic shimmer sound that's present in so much modern worship music, we need to add one other ingredient. And this is some diffusion to spread everything out. So we're gonna spread everything out using the reverb effect. So I'm gonna go right below the pitch plugin here in the audio effects area. And I'm gonna scroll down to reverb and we're gonna use the silver verb reverb today. This is probably my favorite reverb plugin in main stage. I use it almost exclusively when I'm working in main stage three. This is the default preset. And just right there, it adds a nice little bit of wash and gives everything up on top sort of a big, spacious, shimmery feel. And then you can mess with the different amounts within the Silver Verb plugin to create a more or less washed out effect. So if we wanted it to be a little bit more in your face, a little more direct, we could bring up the dry mix here in the output section and bring the wet mix down. And this is just applying a little bit less reverb to the signal. Or we could do the opposite if we wanted it to be a really spacey, really shimmery sound. We could bring that wet mix up and the dry mix down. And we could also increase the size of the reverb and maybe bring the density up a little bit too. And that sounds like this. It's really ambient. Transitions between chords are really slow and sort of slurred. And you're just adding a lot of atmosphere and presence to the sound. And then we could go back to the pitch plugin and bring this blend up if we wanted to add more of that high end content. Just know as you increase the blend of the pitch plugin, some of your initial source material is going to be decreased as those high end 
frequencies are amplified. So you've got to strike a balance between the two. So just one more time to explain what we've done. I'll turn the reverb plugin off and you can hear the difference in sound as those high frequencies initially or instantly gain all of that presence back. And if we turn the pitch plugin off, we're right back where we started. So those are the two basic ingredients that you can combine to get a simple shimmer effect in main stage. Now there's lots more that you can do to really hone this sound and really dial it in for your purposes. You can place these two effects plugins on a bus at the concert level in main stage if you'd like, and then you can run your pianos, your pads, your synth sounds all through that shimmer effect. And then it's also a good idea to maybe place a channel EQ after these two effects so that you can make sure that there aren't any frequencies that are louder than the others uh, and that the shimmer has the right presence for the sound that you're going for. So that's it. If this video was helpful for you and you want to learn more about how you can use Main Stage 3 as the center of your live keyboard rig, then click the link in the description of this video right now. We've got tons more Main Stage tutorials like this one and other resources and sound libraries designed specifically for modern worship music, all inside Main Stage 3. Also, be sure to like and comment on this video. We would love to hear from you. And uh, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Have a great day.